caught in a trap I can't walk to you Because I love you too much, Betty Why can't you see Unbeknownst to me when you don't believe a word XJ We can't drug walk together with skeptical hippo eyes And we can't fix our problems on skeptical hippo eyes One day Welcome back. Welcome back to 10 Minutes of Shot. We're still getting used to the new setup. The camera is right there. Baby. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the, I'll just keep saying it. I got a show December 17th at Chatterbox in Covina. What do you got, B? December 28th, I'm opening for Eric Schwartz at the Ontario Improv. He just dropped a special called Delivery. Check it out and come check us out, B. Check out our boy Eric. He's different. Yeah. But anyway, and also we have a Patreon where we've been reviewing specials. We mm -hmm. just dropped some new tears. Yes. Uh, the Rogan Daddy Verse. Uh, we talked about <laughs> Joe Rogue's uh, special from 2006. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Yeah. But anyways, that's not why you're here, though. Yeah. Right? No, you're here to watch 10 minutes of Shab. So start the timer. Play the chain clip. All righty. So let's check out what we got here today, dude. Uh, first clip we have for this week is this one here. It says the looks of a jealous man in parentheses, Callan selling tickets and doing comedy every weekend. <laughs> Posted by Leech Shab. Uh oh. Let's see here, dude. Triple and Papa Dice. Guys, good news. December 7, 8, and 9, Helium, Indianapolis, Indiana. Already Spokane am. Comedy Club, December 15, 16. <laughs> Off the Hook Comedy Club, December 21, 22, 23, <laughs> in Naples, Florida. And finally, I ring in the New Year in Charlotte, North Carolina, Comedy Zone. Come see me. That's all I got to say. I'm going to London. <laughs> <laughs> I miss, what does he say? Uh, like, which part? Does Shab mumble something? Oh, I think so. I see. I think he says already been there, something like that. Guys, good news. December 7, 8 and 9, Helium, Indianapolis, Indiana. Already Spokane. In. Oh, that's oh, Chin. It was Chin. Yeah, so it wasn't even out. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. So it's just that he looks bored, mm -hmm. kind of. You think do you think he's uh kind of uh jealous? I think he's uh, upset that he can't think of a joke. So he's yeah. trying to think of like the the comedic brain is turning right there. Yeah, he's, he's probably thinking like, well, I already called him Keith <laughs> earlier in the episode. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I, I think he's not. I don't give a fuck, honestly, if he's jealous. It's his homie getting shows. Why would you be jealous of that? Yeah, Brian's his North Star, one yeah. of them. Brian, he's, if anything, he's probably angry that these aren't bigger venues. Like, mm. it should be... MSG, the O2, you know, the sphere. That, the sphere. Yeah. That's where you should see Callan. <laughs> That's why Shab is mad. Yeah. The, he wants uh, Brian, as we've said before, to be bigger. He should be bigger because he's got these great bits about, you know, African singing men and, and fighting with mm -hmm. guys with shovels and all that. And I also don't think he's jealous because there's a lot of rhetoric on Chang's right now about Chin being jealous, dude. Or uh, salty, rather. Yeah, Chin is salty because of the World War II thing. Yeah. And, uh, and when did it end in the cities? <laughs> They were bombed. <laughs> well, we got a quite a long clip here by Haphazard. It's okay. called Chin is Salty for guys. being called stupid last episode. Oh, we were just talking. Speak of the devil. <laughs> yeah, dude. How would Shab say that? <laughs> the devil speaks. <laughs> speak of the Satan. All right, here goes. All right. What do you got, Chin? Oh, uh, just a couple questions for you guys. <clears throat> so last week, you know, you guys <laughs> tell me the importance of dates and geography and all that stuff. So yes. <laughs> I'm just curious. Real quick, we'll start with Brendan. Uh, your mom, Wait, Jen, is this your way of <laughs> <laughs> your mom your is gay? Mom. <laughs> Getting back no, no, us this is just oh, what if he brings up the birth certificate, dude? I wish that's because I've seen some of this and that's what I wanted. I was like, I, I heard <laughs> your mom, and I that's exactly so best brains think alike, <laughs> yeah, dude. but he'll I'm never, fine. he'll never, talk no, about he, that. not in earwaves. Everyone believes he's white. I don't, let's see here. No, 
And is this your way of getting back? No, no. This is just you? a fun thing we're doing here. Doesn't so, sound very fun. Dude, dude we'll, we'll, we'll find out. I right, love so, wait. You said your mom's from England, right? Yes. So you're half English, yes. basically. Oh, what? So who's the current prime minister of the UK? I don't know. It's kind of a, it's a, it's a tricky one. I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. He's isn't saying it? it's, he's tricky. It's tricky because the guy's like, uh, I think he's like Indian or something like that. Oh, yeah. so it's not Boris Johnson anymore. No, no, no. That was. I think that was two ones ago because there was like a woman I think before, but I don't I don't know what the guy's name is either. Yeah, yeah, I think it's like Sunni or something. Or I'll always find it funny when people want to be smart. You know, yeah. I, I wish I was smart, but there's not a chance. B. Oh, I wish I knew every yeah. prime minister. That would be great. <laughs> yeah. Like every, if you knew every capital of every country and state, that'd be amazing. Yeah, dude. What's the country of Africa? <laughs> What's the continent? Right. <laughs> yeah. What's the state? Yeah. I don't know, dude. Know the name if he said it. All right. So, anyways, we'll go back to that. But uh, Brian, yeah. you were born in the Philippines. Yeah. Who's the current president of the Philippines? Well, it was Duterte, <laughs> right? Okay. okay. So I don't know who guy. it is do you now. Know? I don't do know. Do you know? Chin, do you know the answer to this one? Uh, Hiroshima. Is the, the <laughs> I'm just kidding. Bong Bong Marcos. Oh, you are only stopped the clips because you know it. Yeah, dude. no, I looked it up. <laughs> but he's like the son or grandson of like that guy Marcos that was the dictator. I was uh -huh. surprised that there there go another dictator in there. Mm. Just an interesting fact from Chin. Let's see here. What is? No. Okay. No. Sanaz. Don't look at me. You're Persian, right? Yes. <laughs> Who's the current Wait, president? Is this Chin's way of getting back at us? You want to go no, World, you go world, go world War II, Chin? Who the fuck is the current pre I, the, uh, prime minister no, of the England? No, no, I'm, I, I'm actually attaching it to things that are close to you because I got uh, the Korean War wrong, right? So that's what I'm saying. Hey, man, to hear him talk, but I... Wait, you keep going, Chin. I should have known that. Oh, oh actually, I was going to ask you... Well, I was going to ask you the president of Mexico. Oh, that's why, because you're also... Your wife is Mexican. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> Married a Mexican, y'all. Why is Brendan trying to keep his Latino under wraps, dude? Chin almost spilled the beans right there. He's like, because you're, I mean, your wife is. <laughs> you think so? Yes. That's that's an inquisitive face of a Latino right there. Do you look at that? Mr. Popper. <laughs> Ken and yeah, your kids are half Mexican. I, don't I just touch, wonder if you, I don't touch I don't Mexico. <laughs> I don't know. That, I don't I touch don't, Mexico. It's Andres. <laughs> what? He doesn't touch Mexico, dude. Okay. He's not, he doesn't talk about Mexico on earwaves. Yeah, he's talking about his research, B. Don't touch Mexico. Yeah. Mm. I would think Brian would know this because he knows like Afghanistan mm -hmm. and all that. Yeah. I Now when I know an answer, I feel like Brian. <laughs> I feel like I'm being Brian. Oh, I know the prime minister of that. <laughs> when I really, I Googled the Philippines one because I wanted to know after watching this clip. But I didn't, I didn't Google the Mexico. I just knew that one. Wow. Dude. But I may be wrong. Because yeah. remember I said Dagestan was in Chechnya or whatever? Mm-hmm. I was wrong. It's actually in New England. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, it's not playing. Last time Obrador? I remember was Vincente Fox. That's all. It's El Chapo's kids. Andres oh, Obrador. <laughs> I, a lot of the stuff, the, I guess, is, it's, it's hard for me to know the name. Yeah, dude. Relevant. Sometimes that happens, though. You know what I'm no, saying? No, but, but Chin, can I just no, be but Chin, yeah. when it comes to world difference. history? Oh, yeah. God, there no, we no, go. Yeah, there's there's there a difference go. between a floating... You were born in the Philippines. Listen, there's a difference between a floating head of state in a country because it's always changing. Here it's we not go. It's relevant. What, okay. ma what does matter is knowing the seismic events in history. Oh boy. That's all. I have another game for you guys. Oh, Chin was embarrassed. That's what this was no, your whole point today. No, I told, was him, I told him not to be embarrassed because no, again, you, by the way, Brian said, it, dude, you can yeah. delete all that. I said, what did I say, Brian? Yeah, I said, I said delete, no. I, I said no. My, my, my point was that a lot of times <laughs> what, you look it's a pre planned bit, probably, and they discussed this and then they were like, it's a bit for the show. But I'm so invested in this shit now that it's like, I, I like it and I just believe that it's real. Like people that, wa I imagine people watch soap operas mm. and that kind of thing. I just enjoy the theater of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's redacted, <laughs> but we've all decided we're going to be redacted, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I love it. Yeah. I didn't expect to be a fan of TFAT K from doing this show. You no. Know? I mean, I really didn't know what it was and I never really watched it. And now I'm like... I still don't really watch. I've only watched like the full episode once or twice. Um, I tried to watch, like I was saying, I tried to watch the Adrian Peterson one and it was the first 10 minutes were rough. <laughs> so I turned it off. But, you know, these clips are amazing. Yeah. If it's not relevant right. to your life, you're not right. going to know. Yeah. I said I, I use my time to build new skill sets and stuff that I'm actually yes. passionate yeah. about. Yeah. yeah. Singing, nor, nor, nor do you have cooking. to have time to focus on that with everything we're doing. Right. Awful. So, Did you say cocaine? No, oh, cocaine. Oh. No, no, cooking. Oh, it's a cooking okay. show. Cocaine. I just spread rumors about chin. <laughs> Fentanyl. Fentanyl. Mm -hmm. 
Baddies, but it made sense. But this is just a little fun thing because I honestly don't remember all the states. But if you guys want to do this, just yeah. put the abbreviations. Oh, that's a motherfucker. And then we'll fast forward it so the fans will have oh, to see us states? doing this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Not, Not fast, fast enough, Quinn. Oh, they edited this then. And now the grades are in. How do we do? Okay. Uh, Brendan, you got 29 states right. Out of 50. It's not bad, dude. <laughs> not bad. 29 <laughs> states. <laughs> what do they do? They just wrote the states on a map? Uh, what, what, I guess they filled in a map of states. Honestly, that's not bad. I'm surprised. That sounds like a lie. Oh, I so badly want to quiz you now, dude. I don't think I would get... I mean, maybe. Maybe I get 29. I don't know. But... If Brennan really did that, I'm surprised. I would get upwards of 45, dude. Uh, like the geography, you know what all the states are? Yeah. That's good. I Maybe I'm redacted, but I, I don't think I would uh, like know every state just by looking at it. I would get all 55 right, dude. I could get New England, and that's mm. not a bit because I know <laughs> New England. I'd probably get uh, the top part of the south. Okay. And then California. <laughs> But I would be struggling on the other So ones. you'd be rocking 10? A Midwest, I got, I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know what any of the Midwest state, what the shapes of them are, yeah. right? Do you? Dude, I aced fifth grade, bro. Fifth grade was a long time ago, Papa. I, I still, I just, I'd love to trust you. See, because I know I, I'm confident that I wouldn't do very well, but you're like, I got it all down. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a Kiwi diet. <laughs> The Kiwi right. diet helps with your cognitive ability, so. <laughs> the cognitive. All right, let's go. It's pretty and good. Brian, actually. you got 31. Yay! I got 29, you got 31. 31. Yeah. That's pretty pathetic, That's by the way. That's not great. Sanaz got 40. Just kidding. <laughs> Shut up. I, I did not. I didn't even count mine. 31 what, what you states. Change? I didn't get any. And I, what did I get wrong? It's my game. What did I get wrong? Um, Fucking so bio. I don't know. I, I'm just yeah. terrible with that stuff. It happens, guys. It happens, you know? <laughs> Oh, that's Chin's way of <laughs> no. Chin, you just, still don't know fucking way, world history. This is a fun. There was a fun game, right? Chin, you I son of a it. bitch. Yeah. You, I'm you, not. No. You know what, Chin? <laughs> you're a silent assassin. No, no, no. Oh. I saw it, but I saw it for a mile Chin, away. You silent know, so assassin. I, as soon as I want to play a game, don't fuck like, with Koreans. It was too. Koreans will what? He's like, what don't they know? Fuckers. He's like, Brian embarrassed me on fucking camera. No, hey, remember Brian? You said that you could take it out. Like, no, we're not yeah, taking I don't, it out. I don't like that gotcha stuff because it has nothing to do with anything. No, yeah, of course. It's just not, it's it's just not relevant to you. <laughs> yeah, it's not a big deal. It's, it's all like, good. It's like it's just the, stuff the not president of the Philippines. Sure. Not relevant. And I know he was a, a, a <laughs> conservative, but I didn't know his name. Hey, guys, sometimes we get stuff wrong. You know, hey. Wow. Well, look at this. So I, I think we should do the map thing on the next show. Okay. All right. Why not? I'll print them out and um, we can just do them and actually see. And I will do my real results, even if it's like embarrassing. Yeah, I won't even study. A, I Don't won't, study. I you, will not study. Fuck. Do not study. No, I, I'm, dude, I wish we could do it right now. <laughs> you said, you saying study makes me think you're going to study, <laughs> you fucking snake. No, dude. All right. I'm, I'm definitely not going to study. Um, I think, although that is something I would do. <laughs> yeah. I'm now I'm glad you said that actually. Now think about it because I probably would cheat. Yeah. But I I'm interested to see what if we don't do what if I don't do as well as Shab? <laughs> Should that be a win for Scoob? I'll just cut it out, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do it. Uh all righty. So let's go to this one. It's another hap hazard. Dude, Hap has been like on the addies on the grill, dude. He's yeah. just Cooking. Good for you, bud. Yeah. We we thank you. We thank him. Uh it's called he keeps forgetting about the allegations against Chris. Dicey, dicey, dude. Yikes. Let's see what this is about. Okay, well, can't in hear the meantime, you. I've got transition lenses and I can't wait to get that Tony Stark shit going. But when I do, it's on, dude. The fifty five year old ladies are gonna be like this. Mr. My, Fan my. Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> oh my I do yeah. declare. Yeah. Fifty five year old ladies. Well, I mean, once I get the gray hair, yeah. It's who's attracted to it, or really young, you, you know, like college ones. Right. Oh, like man. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, dude. College ones. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. The secondhand pain I feel from that. Oh. I just, oh, my God. It's brutal. Oh, Jesus. It's like a car accident. Oh, that's, that's awful. God damn, dude. Yo, when I get fucking gray hair, though, <laughs> when I'm 55 year old ladies, dude, I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna talk about it. <laughs> we got some old ladies in the crowd tonight. I know I'm married, though, but like these fucking 60 year olds, bro, they're like, 
ये तो कामर है <laughs> They're like you do comedy. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> yeah. Oh man, only uh, a thousand. The only a thousand got comedy in them, dude. This one's posted by successful egg uh, three four five. It's called Adam Sandler and Bapa both recalling or both. Sorry, oh. recalling that time they met. Uh oh. Oh man, do you think he's just gonna be talking about some random fan? <laughs> yeah, I think the clip is gonna be like Adam Sandler is saying like a funny thing where it, if. If it's Shab, it makes him seem stupid. Yeah. And then Shab talking about Adam Sandler like he does. Let's see. When's yeah, the last yeah. time you were in the in the midst of somebody where you're you're kind of speechless? Because you see people do this <laughs> when they're around you. Were you ever that way? You mean about a superstar? Yeah. You no, know the biggest moment was I was at a gym. And I go in the bathroom. He's in the bathroom. No, like, sure as fucking like, like <laughs> while his dicks in his hand. Like, Please notice me. Please notice. <laughs> I'm that guy. <laughs> I'm that guy. And, oh yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> and then so, we, and then we, then we walk out of the bathroom, and he's there, and he goes, "Hey!" And I, I, he could tell I was looking at him, and I'm like, and I walk up to him, and I go, "Hey, how you doing?" I go, "What's up, Mr. Sandler?" He goes, "You're the, you're the uh, tough guy that does comedy, right?" And I was like, "Holy fuck!" He knew you. Yeah. You know, it's tough for me to watch clips like that because I'm looking at this, this whatever, the PBD podcast, and <laughs> those guys are living at our dream. Yeah. You know, they have Shab on their show, and they get to just ask him whatever they want, and they get to hear <laughs> new Shabisms and thoughts being created. Like, I'm legitimately jealous of that. <laughs> they get, you see how happy they are? They're like, ask him, and, he, and they're like, oh my God, he's going into a story that's not true. <laughs> You know, I XJ hotline ringing off the, what is the phrase ringing off the line? What, I'm going to botch like shops. <laughs> <laughs> the phone's ringing off the hook. Okay. The phone's ringing off the hook at the XJ hotline. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Redact me. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm jealous, right? Yeah. I am. I'm uh, yeah. I want to meet him at least, you know, I don't need to do a show with Chob. I just want to be like, hey, bro, love you. Yeah, that'd be nice. But I mean, it'd be cool to have him on. Yeah. Or go or go on, but I'd probably prefer to have him on. Yeah, so we could talk to him. That and Trash Tuesdays. Oh yeah, that'd be <laughs> hilarious. Their fans are like, "You had two homeless guys on." <laughs> All right, I mean, I like legitimately homeless, not homeless cats. All right, let's see this uh, haphazard post, dude. The real tragedy is that he missed out on that dry turkey. Oh, let's see here. Now I spent Thanksgiving. By myself, eating a large pepperoni pizza. Have we not talked about Thanksgiving? <laughs> we haven't been in here in oh seven God, days. Why? So weird. <laughs> I don't understand. Wait a minute. Why is he by himself eating a pizza? A pizza? Was he on tour or something? No, I think uh, his wife was not there because she went to the hospital. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh well, and hopefully everything's okay with that. Yes. And congratulations to Bapa and yes. the new child. That's awesome. Yeah. Sucks about the complications, but uh, it worked out though, right? I hope so. I don't know because yeah. you know homeless cats, dude. They they say some fucking off the cuff shit, dude. Yeah, don't. Uh, we we're all you know praying for the like child to be good. So. Yeah. All right. This next one's called "How to Ruin Your Credibility in One Easy Step," posted by Haphazard. Let's see what happens here. There's a little rumor. Hmm. GSP at forty two. Coming back? I started that rumor. You did? <laughs> yeah. That's where you got that. Why did it you start? It completely came from me. Really? Because I had nothing to talk about last Monday. Oh. And your dumb ass fell for it. So it's not happening. I, I heard it from someone else. Of course. Oh. Son of a Rogan bitch. sends me, he goes, look you what you've done. Rumor mill, motherfucker. Rogan goes, look what you've done. He goes, what's your sources? I go, nothing. <laughs> I go, slow Monday. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> That's you just were like, GSP might make a comeback. Why not? Um. <laughs> so Bapa leans into like the being honest about lying. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. He's just a ridiculous guy that just says shit, yeah. works too much, but also talks too much. <laughs> Good for him. Yeah, he likes dude. to keep you busy. Mm -hmm. Right? Would you do that if you had like uh, the world at your fingertips? Would you just make up lies? Well, no, not like that. But, you know, on Twitter, I'd say jokes that are lies. But I feel like they're obviously lies. Maybe some people don't don't realize that. So, in a way, I kind of do that. How would uh, how would Bapa say transparency? Um, uh, trans Transparency? <laughs> 
<laughs> transparency. Yeah. Yeah. I really enjoy his transparency, dude. Yeah. 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 I like it. I wish more news out outlets. Outlets would have that. Outlets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the problem with CNN and Fox News and Huffington Post. You know, it's like you only get half the truth. <laughs> ESPN, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah All dude. right. Let's see this next one by Hap. It's uh, called Chris Lodges a valid complaint uh, well, with HR. What the hell? Yeah. Let's see. It's a harder Down squeeze. The studio. <laughs> so try you, not to say it. Yeah, yeah I really am. It's a harder squeeze. It's a harder <laughs> squeeze. Bro, it's a harder but squeeze. you're going to get juice <laughs> out of it. The juice is worth <laughs> it. Yeah. Um, well, I'm Mexican, man, so I'm not, wor- I'm not afraid of working. Uh, yeah. Hochata, it's not worth <laughs> He's Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say Mexican too? Yeah, dude. Dang. Let's see. I think, pretty sure he said Mexican. Watch. Keep your ears open. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I'm Mexican, man, so I'm not worried. I'm not. I think he it. put uh, the X in there. I think he he got the X. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt there. <laughs> the doubt of the benefit. Let's yeah. see. I don't want to shed. Uh, I don't want to like- shed some light on him. That's another one. I was looking at Chabonese the other day. <laughs> don't so when he started his mechanic. <laughs> he started his mechanic career outside. You know, in front of the. To say horchata. 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 <laughs> Corchata. What is that? That sounds like a, a workout place for Mexicans. <laughs> and they're I'm all laughing that like much at a joke. Like that is the what to, in a in a nutshell, what I don't like about the hip bro comedy. They make a joke like that that's really not that funny. Corchata, what's that? A place where Mexicans work out? What's that? A gym with salsa on it? And then they're all like, <laughs> Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. (laughs) Mess kids working out. (laughs) It's just too much laughter for something that's not that funny. That in a nutshell is what comedy is. A lot of comedy is right now. Meanwhile, I'm the one that laughs super hard on it. (laughs) You laugh because it's ridiculous. (laughs) Oh, you thought that was funny? Yeah, it was ridiculous. That's your (laughs) takeaway? All right. Well, teach his own. Let's see. (laughs) (laughs) We'll go to the side, bro. We'll go to the side. (laughs) I'm so, I'm gonna tell you something. Go ahead. I'm still thinking about the number two. I went. It felt fantastic, dude. And I'm not bullshit. Yeah, that's a little gay. I want to ask you a question, Brennan. You touch me a lot during the podcast, and it's okay. <laughs> I do, my I, bad, but, 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 but you don't touch Eric a lot because he's so far. But but why are you so close to me then? Love, why don't you? Why? Love, why? Love and you, and no offense. I love you, man. And that's fine. But why aren't you that's closer fine. to him? Well, I move away because I don't want to be. Yeah, but if I move away, yeah. I'm out of the fucking show. <sighs> No, they just Nick would get in the frame and do that thing he does where you like move the camera. It's just you know true. what I mean? It's true. Oh, sorry, man. It's, it's close. But you got to give Nick but, something to do. You got to move. But this is Patreon. Let's talk about the nitty gritty, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the nitty you gritty. touch me too much. It's how I show love, dude. I'm I'm physical. All right. I come over and I'm like, yeah, he grabs me, man. You know what I, I mean? You don't see me stop in the podcast because it doesn't happen so much. <laughs> you all you don't time. know how much you time. touch me. No, but it's different, Brittany, because you're over there like. Oh. Stop, kinda. <laughs> kind of. A lot of gay jokes. A lot of gay Good jokes, Chin. Please slow down. I think they buried the lead on this clip. Great clip. Yeah. But I, I like the beginning way more than the HR complaint. Yeah. I th- and the part where the Mexican guy's laughing, he's like laughing on the outside, but in deep in the inside, he's like crying and how yeah. like horrible it is. It's like my homies cannot see this. Also, what's with the deal with the re- the like Hamas guy that they just have in the back that sits next to Nick? <laughs> <laughs> he's like a, he's dressed up like a Hamas dude, or like someone in winter, you know. <laughs> but he's like, you go back. This is the second time he's been in the same outfit. He doesn't do anything for the show. He's just like audience. Oh, right here. Yeah. What's this guy's deal? Let me see. <laughs> the why, why, oh fuck! Why you miss it there. Yeah. What this guy looks like? He's just released like an Israeli grandmother back to like. <laughs> <laughs> Israel, he, he's like the Hamas. He's Hamas, and he's kidnapped Jen and Nick, and they're like, you know how they keep saying that the people are so happy to be. That's like what their face is when they get given back. They're like, hey, see you later, whatever. And, he, and the like happy Hamas guys like, see you, for, see you later, friends. <laughs> Why is he there? Also, get rid of the fucking B, dude. That show is over. Why does? How do they have like ten people working for the show? And they can't do basic things like removing the, the merch and decorations from the old show. <laughs> I'm bad at that. I'm not a producer. And it's making me mad. Yeah. Shout out yeah. to the truck sticker. Oh, we got yeah. Right we got to do uh, love trucks because we do love. We're, yeah. we're big guys. Um, I was out there earlier today modding my uh, Raptor. You know, I went to Australia. Oh. Or I shipped something from Australia. 
to get you know replace the yeah. the uh, uh, engine carbine. Yeah, I tried to replace the blower on my Corolla, right? But the uh, fucking supercharger needed fixing too. So don't you hate that, dude? Yeah, it's because it's like it only gets like 500, 600 horsepower or whatever. Mm-hmm. So when you got to get in there, it's just like I call one of my guys and he was like, "Oh yeah, I've been there, dude." Seven times a week. Yeah, because I'm looking for like 10, 100, 1K grand thousand fucking horsepower, dude. But it's hard when you got like a car with 200. I saw you working on it the other day. Mm-hmm. I came out when, and I was like, damn, dude, what is this, Toontown? Because <laughs> you're going at it. <laughs> yeah, dude. My face was all black, dude. Let's see here. <laughs> um, you ever get work on a car so hard you get blackface? Uh, Thanks. Let's see here. This one is just a text post. It's called... You dressing up like a truck mechanic now, B? <laughs> yes. Posted by Tiger Thig. <laughs> Good job, look, Tiger look Thig. That, that is hilarious. <laughs> he he saw the guy. He saw a guy working on his truck. He's like, I gotta look like that. <laughs> or a car. Yeah, dude. Like, only yeah. only a thousand mechanics can do it, dude. Yeah. Um. Let's see here. The next one is posted by Natural Mix four eight five six. It's called the Grand Wizard. <laughs> okay. Uh. Couldn't be happier. Wife and newborn child currently in hospital. Off to the racist redact. Uh oh. Let's see what this is about, dude. All right, guys. Good news. I'm so excited. Gerd good news. Gerd. Uh, <laughs> Gerd. <laughs> Gerd news. It is. I wonder if you could like see his brain when he's about to like when he says "gird" instead of "good." Is there like a skip? Like how uh, <laughs> the um, the albums like skip? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> Let's see here. All right, guys. Good news. I'm so <laughs> excited. Good news. Uh, the grant, the wizard, the wizard Eddie at Addiction Motorsports. Oh, I see. This oh, dude grand wizard. I see. That's that's Go a little around. nitpicky, but it's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he literally he does did it by accident. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing that you catch the. He. How does he even do that? <laughs> how does he do it? Only a thousand. Let's see. On the block, is like, oh, this is easy. It's your. Uh, you're running lean. It's your fuel pump. It's your spark plugs. I was like, yeah, but let's like open the hood and do your stuff, you know, and let's make sure he's like, no, I'm positive. I've seen enough of these things. That's what's going on. We bring in the shop. It's exactly that. It's running lean. Uh, the fuel pump's bad uh, and the spark plugs are gapped wrong and they're misfiring. So it's not a huge deal. We'll be able to swap this out. We should I get the parts from LMR, Late Model Restorations. And then uh, this bad boy be uh, back to back to running like Tarzan, not Jane. So uh, couldn't be happier, man. So <laughs> the man, and then now it's off to the races, and the plans get this thing at 600 uh, rear wheel horsepower, and uh, the fun begins. Tarzan, not Jane. Yeah, is that a saying? Um, he well now it is. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What? Well, let's keep that in the yeah the mental bank. Rolodex. The bank. Yeah, bank that one. Boom. I just want to say, uh, Bapa's looking good, dude. Right? Yeah, he looks good there. He's got, uh, I think, the carnivore diet, dude. Oh, he's a, you okay? I don't. Has he talked about that? Yeah, I think so. I I'm slimming down. Pretty sure on last week's episode, he, there was a clip where he mentions the carnivore. That's good. You know, Shab inspires me to like get back into it. My shoulders kind of messed up right now. Um, and I know you've been working out. Mm-hmm. Do you ever feel like Shab doing that motivates you to sort of? Do what you're doing right now. I mean, why did I start? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because it's because he's your north star. <laughs> yeah, dude. So thank you, thank you, Shab, for inspiring us. But nobody wants to talk about the good. Like, look at that face, dude. Look at him. He <laughs> looks great. He looks very Joe Camel on that one. Oh, but yeah. Yeah, I I agree that he he looks healthy. Yeah, dude. Shout out <laughs> he's to He's even Shab. doing the face. His <laughs> mouth is like getting smaller, and then the the, the the top of his head is bigger. It is a funny face. <laughs> And he's a he's a comedian. Of course, he'd have a funny face. Yeah, part of being a part of being one of the murderers. Row. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. So this one we already saw this one, dude. Oh yeah. Uh, it's posted by Haphazard. It's called the uh, the truth comes out. We laugh so hard at one point in this clip. I know it's only seven seconds. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But see if while you're watching it, see if you can guess <laughs> the part that we and we may just laugh again probably yeah. when it happens. But <laughs> let's see. Not a gearhead. I've never pretended I'm a gearhead. I can't fix this stuff. I don't. It's a different language. Yeah. It's atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty obvious, yeah, right, dude? It's <laughs> atrocious. I'm just because Gerardo pulls the clip, so I was over looking at my phone, and then I heard I had my headphones off. And I heard atrocious. <laughs> was he still doing that? How does he not stop? The word he's got to know. That's not how you say it. Yeah, and he just did it again, and it's one of the funniest 
uh, missed said words that he has in his uh, repertoire. Made the tear list, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it did. All right. Shout out to the tear list. Yeah. All right. We got another haphazard, dude. It's called Bappa's Next Career Can Be a movie, uh, Kids Movie Reviewer. Let's go. Let's see. Like, nobody wanted to see the WNBA Marvel movie that just came out. No. Yeah. You know? or, or the new trolls. The woke new trolls. Off. Is it woke? Off. Why? Why is it woke? Just because. All I'm saying is this. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, kids, <laughs> like, won't, won't, won't say why. <laughs> just because. <laughs> just because. Just because. <laughs> Oh, right. Well, I watched a little bit of uh, Lightyear just to put it on. Buzz? You, Terrible. The, the, the one, yeah. <laughs> Terrible. My son goes, that one. That's what he says yep. whenever one comes out. He you says, wasted your one. money. You wasted your money. I, no, no, no. It was streaming, right? It's on Disney Plus yeah, right now. Disney oh, Plus now. Yeah, we didn't go. So uh, I went and uh, or I, I was there and I watched it and about two, three scenes and he checked out and I was like, yeah, I get it. I'm kind of into what it, but like as an adult, producer? but I just bounced out of it. No, it's boring. Yeah, like, it the was, whole storyline is boring. I don't know. You watched it? No. Uh, I saw the guy. I know. <laughs> Bad film. Never seen it. Yeah. Kind of a reversal. Usually it's a great film, but you've never seen it. I like Bapa being like good or bad. It doesn't really matter because he didn't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Let's go to the next one. This one's posted by Brandon is a hack. It's called shop telling the world. He doesn't like the name Joanna chose. Oh, no. He just goes. Yes. All righty, let's see what this is about. I love do you have a name for the for the girl yet? Have you announced? We that? do. I don't. Uh, I'll tell you off here. Okay. I don't like Shin that because I and I also, you know, my my oldest is Tiger, my youngest is Boston, um, and I, I just I like different things. I like different cars, I like different names. I think we're going to enough <laughs> Billys and Toms. We're going to get an Esperanza here. Something here's yeah, something yeah, here. Yeah, 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 we're going to get something dicey. Yeah, yeah. We're going to get yeah, something yeah. dicey. But it's a girl, so you got to be careful. Right. You know? Right. You know, you don't want to pick like a go stripper. Yeah, yeah, you don't do like cinnamon. You got to go exotic. Yeah, you, you don't know? do cinnamon. And then she's either going to be a celebrity or a stripper. Right, right, right. Peach or something like that. Yeah, so when it goes to a girl, you got to be careful, man. Dude, it's so... I get <laughs> is that is that even a consideration really? Is anyone thinking? Well, I'm gonna maybe we should go cinnamon. No, no, no. It's ridiculous. It's just his hack brain goes to like, oh, people make fun of stripper names sometimes. But what I really think is funny, besides that giant powered by rain neon sign, where do you get that? We gotta get that. <laughs> yeah, dude. Is uh, <laughs> why why would it be dicey <laughs> to give the child a Latina name? Yeah, why is that dicey? Esperanza. Why is that a dicey thing? <laughs> we don't want to go dicey like Maria. <laughs> Why? <laughs> He's so funny, dude. All right, so the setup is you don't want to give her a stripper name, right? Right. What's the punchline then, dude? I got mine. Okay, I'll go first. Go for it. Eight inches. <laughs> I don't want to name her eight inches. <laughs> I wasn't, but you know I love eight inches. Damn. I was going to say Atlanta. Oh, yeah, that's a stripper name for yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Welcome to the stage. New, New York. <laughs> New York. This is my daughter, Cincinnati. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, we got another clip here. It's posted by Ryan Joseph 82. Haven't seen him in the kitchen for a while, dude. Baba Luan just goes. You know what that is, right? Baba you know? Luan just goes. No, I don't. It's Taylor Taylor Luan, the football player, and it's because he's they, they're claiming he stole a mustache. See, I finally know something. Oh, shit. Okay. I normally don't know anything, but every once in a while, my brain turns on and I've paid attention. Yeah. So thank him. We're all appreciative we of that. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <Yeah. laughs> Let's see. Well, today's the day. I made it to Addiction Motorsports. Been swamped <laughs> with other things going on in my life, but uh, today's the day. Dropping the Ford Lightning off at uh, Addiction Motorsports with the wrench master the tune maestro eddie he's worked on a ton of lightnings if this guy can't figure out your boy's screwed but i have faith in eddie um took it to the ford dealer they couldn't figure it out they probably could but uh they got a bunch of other broke ford f-150s and mustangs and explorers or whatever the hell they're working on so they couldn't get it done uh all good so here we are so we're gonna find out today uh it's heartbreaking man you buy a uh a truck that you've wanted since you were in high school. This has been a goal for quite some time, and uh, it looks like Tarzan, but drives like Jane. I uh, I'd get starched. I I'd get gapped by a freaking Prius right now off the starting line. So it's heartbreaking, man. We're gonna figure out today. My boy Eddie can take care of it. Oh, it's Here's almost a done. Simple right. fix, right. and then the fun can begin. 
But if it's the transmission or some other major issue, this becomes a much more difficult project and not as fun and exciting. So we're going to find out today. Keep you guys posted. Come on, Eddie. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> so, yeah, two things. Like one is it's again the paint a narrative of like since high school, I've wanted this truck. I yeah. don't really believe that. Everything is something that it, he has this like idea that he has to be a certain way and people really like it when you're like, man, I've been waiting on this for so long and it, that's not true. The other thing is... Um, well, first of all, that's your yeah. takeaway, dude? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any thoughts on that? I mean, I'm, I'm a lot like Bapa in that sense, dude, because there's got a, a lot of things that I wanted ever since I was a kid, dude. Are there any kind of... Or what's one thing? One thing, I've always wanted to be an astronaut. So if I ever end up becoming an astronaut or modding fucking spaceships, mm -hmm. then I could say like, I've always wanted to be an astronaut. I that, never thought about it every day, you know, but that's a clip for sure that will get made fun of. If we get so big that somehow you could become an astronaut, that'd be crazy. There's a, <laughs> on our subreddit for sure. If you're an astronaut, we have a subreddit. Oh, we have an, a we're subreddit. Getting douched. Dude. Good. Dude. Good. Yeah, dude. I was thinking it's funny that, uh, the people at the, car dealership can't fix they've never told me oh yeah we can't you what if you took your car and they're like we have no idea that'd be i would be like what do you mean you build it you took your car in and they give you this face right here <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <just> like, <laughs> yeah what did you do <laughs> um you gotta fix it so it's broken well then you gotta buy me a new car baba yeah especially if it's a new one mm -hmm. so you just the truck just doesn't work yeah that doesn't make any sense <laughs> don't make no sense, sense. <laughs> <It's> count <laughs> All right, let's get to the next one, dude. I don't understand the Lewin thing, but... Because Lewin has a mustache. Okay, that's it? I've, I'm pretty sure. Lewin They're saying he stole the mustache. Lewin ain't modern trucks. Yeah. Lewin ain't, Lewin ain't got no merch. Oh, another thing, too. You uh, you you gave a vocal, oh, on the Tarzan and the Jane thing. You like it now or what? No, but it's in the, it's a different version of what he said before. He said, like, run something, but runs i think but now he said drives like jane that's what he i think that's what he meant to say in the first clip is it runs like or something tarzan drives like i don't even know what i'm talking about yeah. i'm confused now he turned it he basically was saying that he changed it from jane to tarzan the first clip and this one he's like it looks like tarzan runs like jane looks like that's it yeah looks like tarzan run drives like jane and don't feel bad dude it's hard to keep up with bob he's ahead of us dude you know what i mean yeah it's a, it's a sexist saying that is now part of timos <laughs> <laughs> we're for sure saying that yeah, yeah i'm a dude. hawk not a duck i'm a tarzan not a jane Tar yeah you have to say that you're not a jane <laughs> if you have to tell people you're not a jane that's a problem you might be a duck you might be a duck it's a prom <laughs> All right, this next one is again haphazard, dude. The origins of stat. Let's see. Did you know three people a month jump off Golden Gate Bridge? Well, that's why they put those those uh, nets <laughs> down there. Isn't that crazy. That ain't hap. That doesn't stop it. I think it does. <clears throat> nah, man. Still three a month. Still. Yeah, those okay. nets just hold them under longer now. Don't they get caught in the net? No, no, no. Because boats have to go through there now. Where'd you read that? Stat. Read it, Jen. <laughs> I think the the no part is funnier. No, no, no. He's just like Delia. No, no, no. <laughs> now people are under the 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 uh, mat <laughs> or whatever. What is it? He said. Does he say mat? Yeah. The the nets. The nets. The nets. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> people are dying. <laughs> and then the <laughs> dolphins come and they fuck they them. Fuck the dead bodies. <laughs> Oh, man. Hopefully nobody's uh, watching the show is getting fucked by dolphins. Yeah. This one's posted by Haphazard again, dude. It's called The Parrot Strikes Again. Nice. Let's see what Haphazard this is. Haphazard Strikes Again. Yeah, dude. And there are people that just need to follow. They want to follow. They it's like CNN. It's like any CNN, really. Like the only people tune into that and they think that's the gospel. It's like, no, they're just pitching this stuff because they're getting paid, man. Yeah. Big Pharma's paying them all this money. That's why they're doing it. They don't really give a shit. They're just paying you the stuff, and then you repeat, uh, you parrot what they're saying. It's all, it's just a, it's just a hustle. Is that there is a segment of the population that, that can never say no. <laughs> they cannot say oh, no. And those are the people, that's going to be your <laughs> base. On, You're going to make money. If you <laughs> that's so funny. You could put that up whenever he has like a serious point, just to gadoosh him a little bit. That's funny. That's why you have mail-in ballots. 
There you go. Because you're too stupid. This is what they're teaching. You're too stupid to show up with an ID in person. So they want to mail it. They want to make it as easy as possible. Yeah. They don't really give a shit. They're just painting the stuff, and then you repeat, uh, you parrot what they're saying. Period. It's all, it's just a, it's just a hustle. In, in my opinion, I think this guy is a complete fraud. I think he's making money off of people who are desperate. But it's and not illegal. I don't, I don't think he's a good guy. I, I, I would never. I no, would never, he's I a would complete never narcissist. Shake his hand. No, but, <laughs> but that's on the people he's taking advantage of. <laughs> These guys purit everything that they say yeah. and they're like these other people are pirating <laughs> he's dressed he is dressed like a mechanic as he says this too it's kind of funny <laughs> yeah. it's like if you are to engage your mechanic and who should i vote for and then they say the stuff that he's saying <laughs> <laughs> well speaking of parrots dude we got parrot shab posting this one it's called uh this feels like they are talking about brendan right to his face uh hopefully he's not about the parrot stuff Mm -hmm. My least favorite people, though, are, are con men. I hate con men. I don't know anybody who likes them. <laughs> That's a good point, Sean. Who who does like con men? <laughs> I know the cliff is like, is they're talking to Sean, but I think that's a good point. Brian's like, I hate con men. It's almost like you're saying, like, I hate terrorists. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, too, I'm not, I'm not a fashion expert, bro, but you should be having boots on with that mechanic outfit, right? Yeah, you wouldn't. It, it makes the mechanic less trustworthy if, like, they're all they have their normal mechanic outfit on, but then they have like giant, like, uh, stain or stain free like Air Jordans, white, white. Things. And you're like, are you a mechanic? Or are you a guy pretending to be a mechanic? Are you a scammer? Are you gonna steal my car? <laughs> <laughs> you just were here and put on this outfit so you could take my car. Right? 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's see. I hate him though. I like I, I I would I'll take a murderer over a con man. Anyway. Ooh, not me. A murderer? Yeah. I like would. a guy who uh you know, like some people are just I'd rather get conned out of money than you know? die. Hmm? I'd rather get conned out of money than die. Right, uh, guys? Figure it out. At least huh? gangsters you like, know, like gangsters a little brave. The con it. man though, like I, I worked for a guy like that and they have this amazing. What was ability. his hustle? Okay, I see, I see. <laughs> I see where it's going. It's starting to get really funny. But the problem for me, the problem right now <laughs> is that Shab is making great points yeah. and they're kind of funny too. Mm -hmm. It's almost like he got a moment of clarity, you know, like the, the CTE didn't, it wasn't flaring up and he's like, wait a minute, con men aren't worse than murderers. Mm -hmm. And then why doesn't everyone immediately agree with that? And then Brian says gangsters are better than con men. No. Well, first of all, gangsters are con men, but gangsters, murderers, uh, they're much worse than con men. It's just that Brian wants to go into his stupid Crowder bit where he's like, you know, they're not letting us be real anymore. Yeah. And all these people that want me to stop doing all the stuff I'm accused of doing and all that, they're con men. They're just in it for the likes. And I should be selling out everywhere. You know, no, you're a con man. Yeah. You're only there because your friend is Joe Rogan. <laughs> Let's see. Um, you can't weed. say. I can't weed. say. No, 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 it was a, there's a lot of that in the weed stand game. up company like business op operation. I, I, I stopped having a guy on my podcast back in the day, so did Rogan, because there was a guy who was selling, uh, Th this he was selling health, and yeah, and then I talked to somebody who ran his company, and <laughs> and they told me how and he, how he was running it. And I went, Do I know him? Yeah, I was like, That makes so much sense. Do uh, I know him? Yeah, I'm sure you would know him. I'll tell you who he's yeah. a scumbag. But but you know. so yeah, but those people when you get like the right people together, these guys know who to hire. You know, they pick a girl who's like, my only other job was I worked at Hooters and I drive a Toyota Corolla, but I really wanted Infinity. And like next thing you know, you're paying this girl seven grand a month. Hell yeah, and you own that. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna... His hell yeahs are so funny, dude. <laughs> They're describing him to him, and he's like, yeah, this guy <laughs> sounds great. I got to say, dude, she, uh, she's a solid addition to the show, right? She's funny. Yeah. She helps our show. Because <laughs> <laughs> she creates content. Yeah. Let's see. We'll get a job like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they just Stockholm syndrome you all together. Those con men are the scariest people in yeah, the world. Yeah, they're bad, bad people. They're but terrible. They're they do what works, you know? Yeah, because they sell some, like, I'm connected to goodness stuff or they whatever. They're a dime a dozen and they're easy to fucking see. Mm -hmm. anybody that's like I got this new thing it's called magic mind or like it says drink you drink and it keeps you awake yeah they're full of shit yeah. there's already coffee goji powder is not real 
Alpha brain is made up. Okay, simple things are all, and I'm like, I'm like fat, I'm like out of shape and bald. <laughs> <laughs> telling you how to do you're looking at a con man right now daddy yeah. but i'm just saying just common sense yeah right but honestly though you got to be keep it cool kiwis and rain energy is shown to be beneficial to both cognitive and you know uh, mental health and it says it on the bottle folks yeah. look Rain is all you need. Mm -hmm. And if you are, trust Gerardo, Kiwis too. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> high in carbs, but also high in dietary fibers. Uh, let's see here. This one's haphazard again. It's called... I, I didn't watch this one yet, but I've been looking forward to it, dude. Okay. It's a Thick Boy Studios oh, tour, shit, dude. dude. This is what I've always wanted to be. Let's see. We are here. There's Kev. What's up, Nick? What's happening? How much? And this is a gin action figure that Chris got me. All right. Out of the uh, golden hour, <laughs> going right in here to fire in the kid to put some, uh, well, at least one more mic stand in. I already started here, so I'm going to have the. All right. <laughs> what? I'm just thinking about if we, if we had a studio. And we did a tour and it would just, it would be, I'm worried that it would be stupid bits like they do. Like it'd be walking around and Miguel would be like on the couch on his phone. I'd be like, get the fuck up, Miguel. What the fuck are you doing? What do we pay you for? Get to work. Get to work. <laughs> Miguel, your dad's outside and he goes outside and it's just like some like hobo. He's like... <laughs> the guy at the open mic. I'm, I'm like too similar to Shab. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's grab one of these. Man, it's so it's tacky, like dude. Pain. It's so tacky. What? Just all the stuff on the walls, and then it matches some box on a table. There's rain energy drinks everywhere. It's not something you walk in. If if someone, if one of these like YouTube decor people walked in and saw this, they probably have a brain aneurysm and die. <laughs> oh my god they start crying they would cry like they saw the news recently so many energy drinks dude <laughs> are you guys okay if you drink this shit let's see here <laughs> they have to move the energy drinks which one the shocking one yeah. either we're doing it tomorrow. releasing tomorrow no on thursday or after, I don't know. Depends on what we do tomorrow. Whoa. <laughs> what is... I guess the stain. Oh. The, that's not a T-Fat-K thing, though. That's, fake brick or something. That's more of a... What's it called thing? I guess, yeah, fake brick here, and then you got the water stain. That's a more of a, a building issue, right? Yeah. It's like... It's stupid man cave stuff. Like, I like sports, but I'm not going to put a football jersey on the wall, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Is it Shab's jersey? Who knows? Yeah. Who cares? I don't even know. Uh, let's see. This is haphazard. It's uh, called He Can't Say That He's Off Social Media Anymore. It looks like it's from last week's Golden Hour. Let's see. Uh, so, so something coming and going. So you're on TikTok. I just started. And, like, someone was running for me. Now your boy, your boy's I, I back at the range, right? Okay, and, and, and business is pop. Okay. Your boy's back on the range. So now? you post TikTok now. Uh, oh, so what's up with this shit? What's up, bro? <laughs> you, you fucking bought a dumb car or what? Yeah, man. <laughs> what a what yeah, a, it's a lemon skin day. A lot of work, right? We're, right we're so do a, you do bought, a real wrench into, so into you, things. Oh, into the we they, we watched that I think last week, but it, it's there's like more context. Here, yeah, yeah. It shows him. That is funny. You bought a dumb car? No. <laughs> Duh. What's that? What's that? Duh. Back on the range. <laughs> Shab takes the Shab TikTok takeover. <laughs> Shab TikTok takeover. I like that. Yeah. All right. Let's see. This is Eddie Pool 8 millimeter. It's called this. Or Chin Still Beefing with BS and Callum. We might have already watched this. Let's see. That's awesome. I was going to chime in to say to ask Jesse, but... It's what? fine that we What were you going to say, Jen? Did he listen to the actual audiobook? Yeah, that's what he said. He actually, no, he didn't. <clears throat> no, that's what he said. He goes, if you actually listen to it. But 
I wanted to ask him straight up, did you actually listen to the audiobook? Because that's what he said though, it, Chin. He goes, if anybody who listens to it, I listen can't to think it. It's ser- but you, and you think it's real. You want to listen to it? We can do it right now. We can fast forward afterwards. We don't have time for that. No. That's we what I'm saying. Right so you now. didn't listen to it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude. Take it outside. Yeah. Chin beats up shop. <laughs> but I did. Hey, I lived it. But uh, so there's actual tips to being a wag. She even brings in like freaking like makeup artists, all the stuff. Like yeah, I but listened she didn't to. Put it into practice. Oh, what? I know what they're talking about. Or at least I think I do. They're talking because I just looked it up. Less somebody tweeted about this today. Ian Gary's uh, his wife is like much older than him, and I guess when she was younger, wrote some book about how to be a wag. What's you, a wag? Like a wife of a what is it? Wife of a bo- um, of a gearhead. No, like a, a pro athlete. Oh, okay. Wives and girlfriends or something? Oh, I don't know okay. what it stands for. But it's like whoever, uh, it's like how to land a professional athlete. Oh. Yeah, but who cares? Dude? Yeah. We'll see. We'll Just see. to provide she didn't put she, she married a Here's the She married a civilian athlete. Here's the, main, yeah. here's the main, main, main thing is like, of course, it's all stupid and we shouldn't even be in like going into Ian Gary's life with this girl, whatever. But it's out, I uh, get yeah. the fact that Sean Strickland's saying, like he, he shouldn't have done it Publicly, he should have done it privately, like you said. Yeah, if you want to help him, that. if you actually want to help him, you should be like, "Hey, dude, just so you, maybe." But I don't when know people if you're say, aware of this. "When we say about, <laughs> she's saying she's defending herself," <laughs> imagine you marry somebody and you don't know that they wrote that book, <laughs> or you don't know the name of the book, or that they wrote a book at all. I'm sure Ian Gary is well aware of her uh, novels that she's written. <laughs> <laughs> I want to defend my countryman. He's from Ireland. Oh, okay. So, New England. Yeah, he's from yeah, right near New England. Let's see here. It's like it's satirical. If you listen to it, it's not satirical. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, that's that's a, that's a matter of I, opinion. I, yeah, that's I, my opinion. Yeah. I would I love people to actually listen to the. There's a there's a five minute preview on Amazon if you want to listen to it and yeah. judge for yourself. That's all right. But I don't know. You that, wanted me to dive deeper, so I dive deeper. Yeah. yeah no, I'm glad it. you did, Chen. Yeah, no, that's the thing. Who knows? But <laughs> What's I happening to George? Yeah, I know. <laughs> George knocked out there for a second. <laughs> dude. He's like, this is boring, dude. <laughs> We get back to numbers and shows. He's like in the contract. It says no reading, dude. <laughs> Where are the ticket sales <laughs> numbers? The Ever worst, heard of them? She released that wags and then married <laughs> like a Premier yeah. League soccer player, right? But she releases that. By the way, well, she couldn't <laughs> get. Even then, I got no problem. But she couldn't get it. Maybe she can. Yeah, get maybe, yeah, you might be and right. Also, remember the the Kamza story I told you about, right? That Ian Gary himself put out there. Agree. Eight, N- what? Jim, I think ago. we're in agreement with this. I, the, and it works for them, which all more power to them. And that's fine. Let's, yeah, let's agree. get out of the relationship. But, but I, I do. Th- I think WAG now is wives and girlfriends. Okay. And you know what else? We shouldn't talk about people's wives and girlfriends, Baba. Yeah. How about that? Yes. D-A-D. I agree. Yeah. All righty. Well, let's see here. Married a Mexican, y'all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we got one more clip, dude. Oh, shit. It's always the saddest part of the day when we got to finish the episode, know, dude. Special time. Uh, this one's called never met a guy that hates Mexicans so bad like this guy. When asked about the Benavidez fight, he dismissed it <laughs> and also said, quote, I don't touch Mexico when asked who the president is. Uh, Lonely strike one, three, three, four. Right. This is a long title, but I nailed it, dude. Let's see. Killed it. The president of Mexico. Oh, oh okay. that's why because you're also your wife is Mexican and yeah, Your I kids are half Mexican. I, I just touch, wonder if you, I don't touch I don't Mexican. Either, dude. <laughs> I don't know. The, I don't. Know. It's Andres. Last time Obrador. I remember was Vincente Fox. That's all. It's El Chapo's kids. So this is basically the same thing. The president of Mexico. I don't know why he says El Chapo's kids at the end of it. It's a joke, B. <laughs> and what? Like, what is the joke? That uh, El, the drugs run Mexico, basically. Oh, I don't even know. We already <laughs> saw the clip. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, but you yeah. know, it's always good to revisit old dishes, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's always great to see Shab in action and, I, and Brian. I get pastrami all the time. You Seven know times I mean? a week. Yeah. Oh, really, dude? Yeah. All right. But yeah, that's it for today's episode, dude. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week. Later.